Good day everyone. Today our main topic is basic integration and under this main topic we have some subtopics and one of these is the difference between differentiation and integration. Okay, so let's differentiate between the two. In the previous discussion, we were able to discuss about differentiation, which is the process of finding the derivative of the given function. Now, we recall that the derivative is interpreted as the instantaneous rate of change, while integration is the process of finding the antiderivative of the given function. In the succeeding slides of this discussion, we will know what is antiderivative, or we will uh, define antiderivative. Now, integration also is the process of evaluating an indefinite and definite integral. And again, later on, we will know what is indefinite and what is definite integral. So here we have the symbols for derivative, okay, or the notations. We already discussed this already. We have dy dx, uh, notation for derivative. We have also y prime if the given function is y. We also have f prime of x if the given function is f of x. And d sub x of f of x. While the symbols for integration, so we have this um, equation, y is equal to this elongated S-like symbol, this is what we call the integral symbol, f of x dx is equal to f of x plus c. So what are the parts of this um, equation or formula? So this is again the integral symbol and this one, the f of x dx is the integrand and x here is the variable of integration the constant of integration, C, is what we call the constant of integration. Well, this one, f of x plus C, is what we call the antiderivative. Okay, so to start with the discussion of antiderivative or integration, we have this example. So if you want to find the derivative of x squared, okay, we know that the derivative of x squared is equal to 2x using power rule, right? How about if we have this function, the derivative of x squared plus 1? What's the derivative? The derivative is still 2x. How about the derivative of x squared plus pi? What's the derivative? This is still equal to 2x. So generally speaking, if we have the function, x squared plus c, where c is any constant, then the derivative of that is equal to 2x. So what is interesting here is we want to know what is x squared, x squared plus 1, x squared plus pi, and x squared plus c for c any constant whose derivative is 2x. What do we call this one? Again, notice the 2x is the derivative of x squared, x squared plus 1, x squared plus pi, or x squared plus c. So what do we call these uh, functions? Before discussing this, we have the definition of antiderivative. So what is antiderivative? By definition, a function f is called an antiderivative of the function f, small f, if for every x in the domain of f, if this um, equation holds, meaning to say, we can say that the function f is called an antiderivative of f if the derivative of this f, which is f prime of x, is equal to that small f. Now, what is that small f? That small f is actually the derivative. Okay? So, in other words, if we are given the derivative, then we can find the antiderivative. Um, take note also dy dx is equal to f of x. So we can also write this one of this form. Okay, so to explain more on the difference between derivative and antiderivative, differentiation and integration, we have this illustration. 
suppose we are given the function f of x. What is f of x? The f of x is the derivative given. Okay? It is the derivative. And if we want to know the functions, function or functions, whose derivative is f of x? Okay? So what do we call those functions? Let's say f of x plus c. What do we call this one? Again, these are functions whose derivative is f of x. What do we call this one? This is what we call the antiderivative. Now, how can we determine the antiderivative given this derivative or f of x? We can determine by what? Using the operation integration. Okay? By integrating um, f of x, we read this one as the integral of f of x dx. Then the result is f, big f of x plus c. This is antiderivative. Now, what is the significance of this um, constant c? Constant c here, c represents any constant. This means that whatever constant that we're going to add to this function, still the derivative of this function or these set of functions will produce the derivative of f of x. For example, um, x squared. In the previous example, x squared plus 1. The derivative is 2x. x squared plus 4. The derivative is 2x. So that's why we have this general formula of antiderivative. So, in other words, there are many antiderivatives. Okay? Now, how about if we are going to reverse the process? If we have this f of x plus c, general formula, how can we get the derivative? We can get the derivative. So, from here, we can get the derivative. Okay, look at the arrow. We can get the derivative by using the operation differentiation, okay? So in other words, differentiation is the reverse process of integration or integration is the reverse process of differentiation, okay? So here is our formula for antiderivative and we read this one, y is equal to the integral of f of x dx, which is equal to f of x plus c. And again, c represents any constant. Okay, let's go back to our previous example. Note, again, the 2x is the derivative of x squared, x squared plus 1, x squared plus pi, or in general, x squared plus c for any constant c. Now, we can write these functions as f of x, big f of x. And we can say that this uh, big F of X is antiderivative or set of antiderivatives of 2X if the derivative of this is equal to 2X. Now, take note that F prime of X, let's say X squared, the derivative is 2X. Um, X squared plus 1, the derivative is equal to 2X. And x squared plus pi, the derivative is equal to 2x. So x squared plus c, the derivative is 2x. That's why we can say that this big F here is an antiderivative or a set of antiderivatives of 2x. Now to simplify, because instead of writing or saying the antiderivative of 2x, we write this symbol. We say that the integral of 2x, again, this is the derivative, the integral of 2x dx is equal to x squared plus c. So this is the antiderivative of 2x. Okay? So another example, we have the antiderivative of x raised to n is equal to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay, for example, specific example. Suppose we have f of x is equal to x raised to 5. Take note that x raised to 5 is of the form x raised to n, right? So, by applying the 
uh, integration, we have integral of f of x dx. Now, what is the integral of f of x dx? Take note that f of x is equal to x raised to 5. So this becomes the integral of x raised to 5 dx. Using this formula, we have x raised to 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1. Okay, using this formula because our n is 5. So we have x raised to 6 over 6 plus c. Again, don't forget to add c because that represents any constant. So let's say x raised to 6 over 6 plus 1. Still, the derivative of that is equal to x raised to 5. x raised to 6 over 6 plus 4. Still, the derivative is x, ra x raised to 5. So therefore, the antiderivative of x raised to 5 is equal to x raised to 6 over 6 plus c. Okay? So those are, or that is the difference between antiderivative and derivative or differentiation and integration. So hope you like this video and just keep on sharing the learning that you've got from this video. Thank you so much and God bless. Mm -hmm.